Natural selection is an important mechanism that drives populations to change over time, promoting the increasing prevalence of favorable genetic traits and the decreasing prevalence of unfavorable ones. This important driver of evolution is underpinned by two important requirements, genetic variability and differential reproductive success. Genetic variability is required to provide multiple traits to select from. Differential reproductive success is required to ensure that selection occurs at all. In considering the need for genetic diversity, it is first important to understand the nature of heredity. For any genetically determined trait, parents are likely to pass the trait on to their children. In this way, like begets like. A dark moth will have offspring that are darkly colored, while a light moth will have offspring that are lightly colored. Therefore, in a homogeneous population of all dark moths, the next generation will also contain all dark moths. Without diversity, there is no way for selection to occur because there is no phenotype or version of the moth that will be more or less successful in passing its genes on to the next generation. In this way, barring migration or mutation, a lack of diversity causes the makeup of the population to be stable. Now let's consider the need for differential reproductive success to drive natural selection. Even in a population with diversity, if all the individuals are allowed to survive and reproduce, then no particular phenotype or version of the moth is favored. In this case, the population makeup will remain stable throughout a large number of generations. Only random events will cause small changes in the ratios of traits present. However, if not all of the individuals in the population successfully reproduce, the natural selection will begin to occur. Those individuals with greater reproductive fitness will stand a greater chance of surviving and producing viable offspring. Because their fitness was genetically determined, their offspring will also share this fitness. In this particular case, darkly colored moths are more fit because they are harder for a predatory bird to see and eat. As a result, the population of moths in this environment will shift towards a greater prevalence of dark moths. It is important to remember that fitness, although genetically encoded, is also highly dependent on the nature of the environment. For example, the same dark coloring which endowed moths with greater fitness against a dark background would be a liability against a light background. In this case, lightly colored moths are more fit and natural selection will drive the population towards their greater prevalence. In these ways, natural selection can cause gradual, non-random changes in a population that is genetically diverse and subject to differential reproductive success.